Well, fellas wouldn't want to miss this opportunity. I think this is a Mac. He's got her all jacked up here. Damn. RL 700L, the Mac Long Hood. This is not the Superliner version. Look at there, they didn't wrote him a ticket. Vehicle check parking warning. Damage report. He's got a Zifta sticker for 2019. Got him a load of firewood. Yeah, he got her a little squirrely there gym obviously let's see if we can open the door damn steering wheels all pulled out the you see the steering shaft laying there yeah buddy poor fella he probably all right though don't look like too bad of a ordeal. I don't fall down and break my neck. <sighs> Ye old Mac. Some nice looking firewood he's got there too. The aluminum wheels on the front. Sport model. So I'm in the Redwood National Forest. They're removing the head off the old Peterbilt. Let's see what he's got under here for rear ends. No, they ain't Mac rear ends. I don't know, might be. Um, definitely walking beam suspension. No, that's Hendrickson right there. Yeah, those aren't Mac rears. It's got Hendrickson's walking beam suspension under it. Got him another ticket here. Oh, well. Law dogs always got to get their little bit of money, right? We'll be back. Good morning, guys. It's Monday. You see they just pulled that one in on a hook over there. We're picking the dude up. We arrived Saturday, flew in Saturday. Um, I I'll cut to the chase. Cummins had to replace the cylinder head. Um, note here, had to remove tires and bumper for access to issues since the truck is a heavy all truck i don't know what tires got to do with the cylinder head but whatever guy's name is sterling works here at dsu trucks which is part of the jackson group peterbilt i'm totally happy with with sterling um i think he did me right he did a good job these guys are super nice um they got right to it, no, no BS. So, you know, um, truck was down basically two weeks. This is approximately, they claim, 15,000 in repairs. Um, Cummins paid for every nickel of it. They said the valve seats were soft and cylinders five and six and they replaced the entire head so here it is it is all back together um, i'm waiting on a rate con to get here i'll show you this here he's probably coming in with dpf problems indian river that's florida rig <sighs> arms juice squeezer 
See there, you can look at this tag, Florida. There's another Florida rig, right? That's all we do is hang out at the Peterbilt shop because of Cummins. Anyway, Cummins extended our warranty for an additional year because this truck is now 22 months old. We didn't ask for that, they just did it. Um, that probably only applies to the head and anything that they had to deal with. Um, we're a little greasy, but we'll get that cleaned. And um, as soon as this rate con shows up, we're gonna load in the morning to Wichita, Kansas. Um, <clears throat> pretty big girl, we're gonna run it as a beam. Uh, be 15.9 wide. And we'll be about right at 15 tall. So, I don't know, guys. A little discouraged. That's a shit ton of revenue to be lost with all the problems from Rosie going to British Columbia and all of that. Yes, it is what it is. Still got to check the oil in this here rig. Let's look and see what we got. Yep, what she's due for an oil change. We'll get that when we get back. Now somebody's gonna say, well, you didn't wipe that. It's, it'll be all right, bud. It will be okay. It will be all right. As my Mexican framer says, all right, it will be all right. <clears throat> so anyway, that's what we're doing. And the irony of a yellow concrete truck sitting next to us. Anyway, guy again, Sterling, DSU Trucks, which is Jackson Group Peterbilt. Thanks, bud. My office is sending you a swag kit. You're getting two hats, two koozies. I'm truly grateful for the expediency and hard work that you put in. And I watched him do some of it, and the guy's good, and he don't mess around. So um, I'm probably going to send a letter to his boss telling him just how happy I am. In fact, I might try to hire the guy and move him to Florida, put him to work full time. Who knows? I'm just looking for any loose bolts. And I don't see any. Everything looks like it's supposed to. So, that's it guys. Hopefully we'll be loading in the morning and uh, not too far from here, right up the road. And I'll be back. Guys, while I'm waiting on the rate con, um, I'm not gonna fire up and hook up until we get it. But uh, either way, if it don't come, we're headed to the southeast where we belong. I just wanted to show you, so this is what's called an underreach here. Um, pretty standard for how a, uh, a wrecker works. Uh, this is not a rotator wrecker, but he still get a pretty good little bit of weight there. So that just goes under the front axle and then they chain around the front axle and pick it up. And then they run this light bar, which you see he's carrying there, to the back of the truck. And you can see he's done a good job because he's rolled up the mud flaps. So it looks like he's doing good work to me. Um, they probably don't want me filming. I don't care, it's Hollywood, right? So you see how he rolled up his mud flaps, looks good. All right, guys, sorry. So he unrolled the mud flaps. Um, I mean, they wasn't a drug, but you know, he looks like he's doing a first class job, but I don't know if they're gonna move it over into this slot or if they're just gonna drop it right here. But yep, another Florida truck. That's Florida guys, just take a beat. Orange juice squeezer here, Indian River. I believe they haul orange juice. They may haul other things as well, but um, tanker, tanker company. And he's taking his chains off where he's wrapped around the front axle. 
You see them dangling down there. truck right there we do it over oversize oh, really? yeah a lot of cranes like and stuff. we we do a lot of cranes excavators dozers pipe layers crane houses we're going to get a big material handler in the morning oh, nice. From, uh, Peterson? it's in cornelius Somewhere up by Portland. Okay. What's wrong with this rig? DPF filter? No, the something about the turbo's got a problem. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. I wonder what engine's in it. Let's see. Oh, it's red. It's a Cummins. Probably ISX. Yep, so uh, when we get back which I'm getting ready to go on vacation. Um, which I feel like I've been on vacation, right? But anyway, um, when we get back, it's time for four new batteries and an oil change, full service, all that good business. This is a plastic freight liner here. They're all just about plastic now. But there you go. Setting her down. You see the pressure letting up off the truck. And he's gonna close his underreach. Let's flip down the little arms that stick up under the steer axle. And that is that. See him sucking it in. The end. It's over. They're done. On to get another another victim. Alright guys. I really gotta go. <laughs>